Before we get started on today's video, can you do me a quick favour? Just drop the video a like. It takes you two seconds, it costs you absolutely nothing, and it seriously, seriously helps me out. You guys see the title. If this video gets 100 likes, I'll do something very, very special. That's all. Enjoy the video. Be the goal. What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. That was the highlights of our bank holiday date night. We actually went to a place called Lane 7, uh, which is in central Birmingham, a place called The Mailbox. Pretty much like a massive like shopping center, like a bunch of shops there and restaurants there and cool stuff like Lane 7 there, right? So one thing that I love is, is specific kind of adult places, right? So like there's there's crazy golf, like there's a place called Ghetto Golf in Birmingham, that's awesome. But it's like a place where you can go with a drink and you can do the thing that you would usually do and you would usually have to be all, you know, it's a family place. But these places aren't, you know, these places are designed for people, friends or groups and couples or whatever to go and, and just have fun. So that was nice. And we followed it up with um, with the Pie Minster where unfortunately we had to to wait about an hour and a half for our food, like not that long, but it felt flipping ages. And you know when you're in a restaurant and people that get served after you get their food before you, and you want to be really happy for them, but actually you just sat there starving and you're just like. <sighs> that is pretty much what happened um, yesterday. So we are here the following day driving back home and we are going to be doing a Q and A. Well, by a Q and A, I just mean like answering a few of your questions and going on throughout my day. You know how we do things here, but I'm going to try and do these once every like three, four weeks just to kind of keep you guys in the loop, give you guys a chance to feature yourselves on the channel. And on that note, we are going to start off with question number one. How did you and Charlotte meet? Well, this is actually surprising because I've mentioned it a lot on the channel, right? But not for quite some time and I, I kind of got to the point where I just assumed that people know. And that's stupid of me. That's why I like to do these Q&As because it's, it's pointless me having people like Jake and Cam the Cameraman and not explaining, you know, who they are. So basically, myself and Charlotte lived together out of chance in first year at university, right? We bought a flat. Basically, the way it worked, at least here in the UK when we went in Nottingham Trent, you essentially buy a room, right? You pick a flat and you pick a room in that flat and then whoever you share it with is just kind of potluck right so myself and Charlotte woo, myself and Charlotte actually lived in the same flat um, and we weren't together for a good six seven maybe like what September April November December January February March April March. yeah okay we knew each other for like eight nine months before we actually got together before we actually officially kind of got together we did book or I say book we we like bought the place for second year so coach house the place that I keep showing you guys as of late that is where myself Charlotte and our friend Kate actually lived in third year so we all had our individual rooms and then we just like shared the kitchen and stuff um, but obviously by that point in time myself and Charlotte were together but we had to 
book that place. We had to we had to buy that place for second year in like November. So we'd only known each other kind of like six to eight weeks. We were like, look, we got on really well. Let's just live together next year. And then come April the following year, we were together. It just kind of happened, you know? Everything happens for a reason and all that kind of stuff. This is what I mean by I hate doing things by the norm, right? I do not do anything. My relationship is backwards, right? Normally, you know, you start seeing each other. You go on a couple of dates. You stop over at each other's houses. And then you're like, one person maybe gets a flat and then the other person moves in or you're like right fuck it you know we'll try getting a place together we live together from day one so actually I haven't done anything come to think of it in my life not a single thing even down to my relationship I have not done it by the norm I fucking hate the norm and I love my life okay so you do you it's a bit weird for some people it is a funny weird interesting story it's very unique and I do uh, I do like it you know, university was an awesome time for me. It was a couple years ago now, um, but I learned pretty much everything. You know, I became the person that I am today at university. And um, yeah, I'm just thankful for all of the experiences, good and bad. So, on with the day, people. Loving singing on the channel lately. Absolutely loving it. You're a bit high. Let me point you down here. Hello, everybody. How we're doing? Fantastic day at work. If you uh, call fantastic busting your knee and uh, hobbling around for the whole day. So not going to train today. I was actually. It's not even a leg day. I'm just going to rest. I'm just going to do nothing. I've been very, very, very active um, over the past week or so since I got back from that little staycation. Um, I've trained hard every single time and my body is, is paying for it you now. I've hurt my knee and I've hurt my elbow. I just need to chill out, man. I've just gone a bit too hard, you know. We've all been there, but hey. So, unplanned rest day today, which I'm not too happy about, but we got shit to do and if we train today, we could jeopardize our future goals. And I'm not about that life. So, inside here, we actually have um, oh god, some ghost, some apparel of the month, some stock, oh flipping it, I can't even get into it, there we go. So, uh, a couple months ago they released the uh, um, glitch stuff when they brought out Ghost Gamer, I friggin love Ghost Gamer. So we have the glitch tee uh, in black, it's just the small logo there across the chest, on the left chest. This t-shirt I actually have, it's the one that you saw when Jake came round, he wore it for the video, uh, but I got it in an oversized, this is actually an extra large, and the one that I currently have is a medium. It's tie-dye, so I figured that, you know, oversized tie-dye, it's, it's a bit of me, you know? So next up we actually have the pink one, it's a pink and teal kind of colour, but this one I've gone for in medium, just gone for a normal size in that one, uh, because it is a long sleeve that has like a nice white, kind of subtle yet stands out kind of logo type thing. Um, I don't know why this has come in two boxes, but it has come in two boxes. Um, we have also the shaker of the month. You guys remember my shaker collab video with Ghost not too long ago. We actually have the same shaker, but in the new black color, which I think looks friggin' sick. Like, it's, it's awesome. And this genuinely is a really, really good shaker. You guys know how I feel about metal shakers. This one's made of stainless steel. So, with that said, everybody, on to the next question. Let's pick out a good one. Hurry up and come train with me, you pussy. Challenge accepted, bro. Favorite training day, push, pull, or legs? I'd put push at the top uh, because I love shoulder press, not even because of bench press. Most people would pick push because of bench press. Uh, I personally pick it because of shoulder press. Definitely legs after that and then pull at the bottom. I just don't enjoy pull day as much. I still love it because I love training and stuff, but nowhere near as much as, as I actually enjoy the other stuff, you know? Um, what do you think made your channel pop? Ah. Uh, I don't know, has it? <laughs> thank you, um, thank you for saying that. I actually really appreciate that. The, the fact that you view this this small, what I regard a small channel um, in, in that way, that's, that's really nice, so I appreciate that. But um, no, we're definitely picking up some steam. We're picking up the momentum. We are growing faster and faster, and you know, the things are going in the right direction, the statistics and all this kind of stuff. But in terms of what makes it pop, um, I don't know, just me being dumb, I suppose. <laughs> Future plans. Mmm, now that's a potential title-worthy question. Future plans for myself. That's hard to, to sum up in, in just a quick 
Q&A answer. So. Okay. 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 Oh, good girl. <coughs> So I am going to start a new account right now. I just checked my emails on the new email that I just created for something that I have planned very, very soon. Just waiting on Google now though, come on. What the, what the, what the, what the? You're probably wondering why I'm showing you this, um, or kind of showing you this, talking to you about this. Um, it relates to something that I uh, have planned for the very near future. Something that you guys can get involved with, something that you guys can love, um, something that I have thought about for a very, very, very long time. Um, and now is enough time thinking, and it's time to do. Uh, I'm excited to share this. Having said that though, I'm gonna struggle to do if Google doesn't do their bit and send me the email confirmation. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I found it, right. I got it, I got it. Six, zero. Why is an email from Instagram in my spam folder? That, that, that makes no sense. Trying to set up a new account, like, this isn't spam. Ooh. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, right, let's skip this for now. Skip that for now. Add a photo. Yowza, okay. Whew. Oh my god, how exciting. What the fuck? Okay. Right. I have like a really weird, bizarre, like rush. <laughs> I can't, I can't wait, I can't wait to share, to share this with you. Um, hopefully sooner rather than later, I will uh, unleash this new business of mine. A few details to iron out soon. First. <laughs> it's time to take action, people. <sighs> I just, I literally, I've made, an e I've made an email on an Instagram account. That's literally all I've done. But it's just such a big deal to me. It's such a big deal to me personally. I, uh, I, 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 can't, I can't wait. I cannot wait. This could be massive. I think it could be really, really cool. I uh, look forward to sharing. Together we will grow. So I do actually keep... Hello? <laughs> Charlotte just texted me saying I have a real craving for Pizza Express. It's 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> so what I was going to say is this video is not necessarily about the business idea itself, uh, but this video is about what, what my future plans. You know, you guys see the questions and every single Q&A that I put out there, everybody asks what my future plans are. Everybody wants to know what I'm doing and that's pretty cool, right? But it's hard for me to pinpoint exactly down the details right now. Just know there's something cool and interesting and amazing is coming and it suits me down to the ground so I'm excited to share very very soon. But if we put it down to the very basics, to the very core of my future plans, it is to just keep doing what we're doing but bigger and better than ever before. Keep doing what we're doing and as long as I'm smiling, waking up every single day, enjoying what I'm doing, I don't care. So I suppose if we're whittling it down my future plans, although I have all of these business ideas and no, there's not just one, there's plenty that I intend to leverage over the next couple of years or so and I'm very excited for that. But if we really boil it down to my future plans, it is to smile. <laughs> and as cliche and as stupid and some people are going, oh for God's sake Liam, shut up. I get that, but trust me, as long as that's what you're focusing on, then you can't really go far wrong. Your happiness is the most important thing. I suggest if that is not the way you do things, then consider it, you know? So thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, smash it that 100 likes and we'll see. Something might appear in the comments to do with the title. We, 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 may, we may see it, we may not, it depends. It's all down to you guys. 100 likes is a lot. The only time we got that is on like a 100kg bench press video and like my birthday and stuff. You guys were really nice on my birthday, but they've dropped off recently, so 100 likes or else. Also, side note, there's plenty of stuff coming with the Best Gym Series, collabs, training with subscribers, all this kind of stuff is coming very, very soon. So thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, drop it a like, comment down below and subscribe if you are new. New. Thank you so much. Together we will grow and I'll see you all very, very soon in the next one.